All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a really, really good video for you. I know because it really helped me out, and I want to share these two things, these two huge mistakes I made when trying to fight the serpent god devouring boss. This thing was an absolute annoyance and a nightmare, but I did figure some things out and I wanted to share and make it a lot easier for you guys. The first mistake that I actually made was trying to fight it as if I would fight a normal boss using my dragon incantations, uh, my favorite weapon, uh, the Mog Spear, and that proved to be very, very unsuccessful. <laughs> The second mistake I realized uh, upon entering the uh, portal to fight the boss, that there is a weapon designed specifically to fight it. And it's the uh, God Serpent uh, Spear that you get on the left-hand side. You see I grab it there. Um, that was another huge mistake. Now, upon fighting it for about another 30 minutes using this weapon, I realized that you could rank it up. <laughs> that was another mistake. And I'm not going to lie, the minute I ranked this weapon up, I went over to the round table, put some stones into it, ranked it up. I beat the boss first try. But I want to share the technique because there's a specific way to beat the first part of the boss and there's a specific way. That's a lot of spe 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 specifics I'm trying to say there. There's a specific way to beat the second part as well. So let's dive into that. So the first part, what you want to do, obviously you want to call in your Mimic Tier Summon because it's going to mimic you exactly, and it's going to have this dagger as a action as well. Make sure you have your shield out for that. I forgot, and I got destroyed. But you want to focus on R1 attacks only. They're really fast and effective on the first part of the snake. The R1 attack is just easy, it's fast, and when he comes at you like that, you can back up and jump out of the way, but he, when he tries to snatch you like that and eat you and just chew on you a little bit, which is obviously terrifying because I have a very unrational fear of snakes, you can roll right into that attack. So all you do is just R1 the whole time. Just R1, spam his head, just beat the heck out of him, send him to Serpent Hell with the R1 attack constantly. And the only time I use a, any different attack during this first part, you'll see I'll stun him and knock him down. And when he's down like this, then I will use my R2 uh, hold attack and just finish him off. That's it. That's all you have to do. Very, very simple. Um, trust me, just stick to that R1 attack. And if you have this, like I said, make sure that you level this weapon up. That is the hugest thing that I can recommend for this fight. Just maybe get it to plus eight. Uh, put some stones into it and level it up. Now for part two, this is a bit different and it's a bit cheesy and it's a bit boring. All you do is hold L2. L2 attack, boom, stuns him back every single time. L2 attack, bam. Just constantly stunning his ugly bearded snake head just back constantly. This has got to be one of the ugliest bosses I've ever seen. But you can see, honestly, uh, everybody, it's not that complicated it's honestly kind of cheesy, just holding L2, constantly just beating the heck out of him, stunning him back every time. And I don't think I was stunning him before I ranked it up. Having the weapon ranked up really helps. As you can see, I'm just constantly knocking him back. He's not able to do any attacks because he has the most insane attacks. I got destroyed for about an hour before realizing all the things that I'm telling you here in this video. So I really do hope this helped you out. And obviously, I mean, I'm doing the best I can. I'm using a Mimic tier. Um, I'm using an L2 spam attack. I just wanted to beat this boss. Um, <laughs> I'm not the best player in the world, um, uh, but I really, really hope that this helped you guys out. As you can see, once again, it's nothing special. It's nothing amazing. It's as simple as that. I actually thought I killed him there. I didn't realize he had a little bit of health. <laughs> but just finish him off with an R1. And that's it. That is the simplest way to defeat the God-Devouring Serpent boss in Elden Ring. So if this video helped you out, obviously all likes are appreciated. And you have a great rest of your day. Later.